Hi everybody, it's Diane and Rudolph once again. I'm still working on the zine. I'm up to the next pages, which I was going to do something with this. Um, I, yeah, call me Miss Unprepared today. I don't know. This fits okay on a page. This does not. Um, I could print off another one. I don't feel like it. I kind of thought, would it be cool to cut the title across. You know, it's just a print out, copy, let's try it. And in case you're curious, this woman he's with here is Alice Terry. She was in the Four Horsemen with him. And if I'm right, I think I'm right, the director was married to her. Because that leaves a weirdness down there. All right, well, we'll just cut that straight across because you can't read that little tiny thing anyway. I can't anyway. I'm assuming this was a lobby card. And you know, I made a little quip. Um, I don't know, it was the prior one or the first one that Rudolph said he couldn't pronounce Apocalypse. In case you don't know, he was from Italy. He immigrated here when he was 18, 19, so English was not his first language. Just so you know that. All right. Um, yeah, I am unprepared. I don't know. Oh. Well, I have some magazines here. I don't drink, but this gets sent to my house, so I use it. It's nice and big. I like that. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't have any other big thoughts, like, to try to convey the film or anything. I, I've seen it. It's good if you've never seen it. And it is the film that uh, brought him fame, finally. Not necessarily fortune. No. I'm going to save that, though. That's cool. Well, that's kind of neat. Okay, we're back on the air. I'm sorry about that. It was the daily dog interruption. I'm sorry. We had to bark at something. I don't even know what. And I need, I'm going to need something up there. I could always paint, too. I don't know. Barrel-aged chocolate. All right, that's a new one to me. Oh, Don Julio. <laughs> that's weird. I think his name is Julio, and I think it, it's like his grandfather is... Don Julio? I've got to look that up. That's kind of spooky. <laughs> it's kind of spooky. Well, let's put it this way, spooky or not. I still don't know what I'm really going to do with this because it doesn't fit. I don't know if I want to just fold, you know, so it's just half over there. That, I guess that's okay. Let's trim this a little so I get a better idea what I'm doing.
Good, Diane. Hmm. Okay, or I could kind of cut around the four horsemen. That's a thought. I think I like that thought. Okay. All right, do we need Alice and Rudolph at all <laughs> if we don't? I'm sorry, Alice. Well, let's trim this up a little bit. It's kind of a, a odd colorization on that anyway, I think, on her hair. A little strange looking. Well, I suppose it adds. Cause I don't know what else to put on here. I don't know. He play. He yeah. He does the tango in this. That's right. I don't know. Well, I could put some music behind there. It's okay, but I don't think it necessarily goes because the side is getting. You know, more saturated with color now. What else? Anything else in here that's spooky? Hope not. <laughs> well. No. What about the lighter green? No. Wow, that's cool colors. Could do something kind of wacky. I mean, that's a red orange color there. Let's see. Oh yeah, I forgot. I was thinking of a, putting a four on here initially. That's okay. Do we see any big fours? Wow, that's pretty. Where is it? Blue side ridge. I don't know. That means nothing to me. There's a little four. <laughs> um, I don't know. Right, you know what? I'll pause. I'll look for a four. I'll double check that before we glue that down. And I go, oh wait, no, that's not right. And I'll come back. Okay, this is glued. I found a 4 in that same wine magazine and a 21 because it dawned on me this movie came out in 1921, so this is a 100 year anniversary. His name is Julio in the movie. That's it. So I was half right. But I think that's cool, and the guy's kind of wearing a hat similar, so I like that. You could certainly leave this. You know, Diane's not going to. 
I don't like the white seam in there, number one. So we're going to do something about that. dry there. Okay, what else do you think I don't like about it? I don't really like the yellow on this dark. It, um, to me it's too severe. So, I'm not sure. I'm you know, you would think yellow, but I don't want to totally, totally blend it in. And there's oranges over here. What would orange do? Nothing, because it's too wet. Yeah, no, that's not doing much. Well... Actually, though, it is better than it was. That's better. Just that little bit. I don't think the... The bottom line doesn't bother me so much. This bothers me a little bit. Okay. Well, that could certainly be done. It's pretty neat. Um, I kind of thought of adding color to the arches, but I don't know if that's... <laughs> You're looking for trouble. Well, I kind of want to. <laughs> All right, everybody, please cross your fingers. Keep a good thought. Uh, put on your glasses so you can tell what you're doing. I'll start with this first one. I don't like it so much. I don't think that one would matter really. Well, and you know this pillar thing now is going to bug me. What if we get lighter? I don't add more paint. Well, I think you could go bolder, bolder or add the hot pink, but I'm not going to tinker because I don't want to ruin it. Um, maybe just a little color down there, although it does kind of balance this, just, just a touch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, folks. I think she's happy. Let me hold it up one more time. Hey, look at this. Isn't it actually cool? I just gotta do something clever with that. All right. I think I'm gonna call this done. Believe it or not, I'm not going to do a border. I touch that right there. It's a little white showing. We'll hit it with orange just to kind of blend a little. I 
And look, we've got my two favorite colors on my paper towel here. Or I shouldn't say two favorite colors. My favorite color combination, hot pink and bright orange. Okay, so we've got two more pages in the back cover to do yet. Okay, Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. That's all in the books now. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a nice day out there.